Leo, welcome to your three-month review. It is October, November, December, and our final in-depth reading before we switch over to the check-in system beginning September 15th. So if you miss that special announcement, I will have linked it off for you once more in the comments below so you can check it out. To everyone else who left your messages and your comments and, of course, voted, thank you so much. Obviously, the overwhelming answer, and I was not surprised at all by this, was the three-month overview, right? More bang for the buck, that kind of thing. So here we are. We're going to take a look at you for the next three months. And this is the board I'm using for you and all 12 signs. We'll be taking a look at Leo for the month of October. Okay. 10, the Wheel of Fortune, respectively. November 11, Justice. Yeah. December 12, the Hanged Man, or in this deck perspective. The bottom row of the energies I like to look at when we do a three month review the sun. Are we on point with what makes us happy? Are we living it? Are we loving it? Are we just blooming under that sun? Do we need to make adjustments? Is our idea of opening up to the sun, is that changing? We need to take a look at that. And then, of course, the tower. Anything unexpected or towards we should be made aware of or towers that have already happened and we're possibly still processing, as several folks have shown me, which is interesting. That means we're still incorporating lessons of a very powerful moment in our life. Cool. It's all good. It's all good. And I operate from that philosophy the more you know. So we're going to start right back here in, I had to think about it, October. It'll be honest before you know it, honey. Let me tell you. Time is fleeting. Let's see. Leo, please. In October, like always, the basics. Yes, yes. Final round, Christina. Come on. Take a rest night's sleep if it does not. If there's more than one energy clearly apparent to you on this board today, then you reverse those energies as you see fit. These are, after all, general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate at all. Frustrating to know, but also normal. Check your other placements. If they don't, um, you will find yourself in there somewhere. I won't have to say that so much anymore. Once, twice a week now. <laughs> so I kind of look forward to that. <laughs> What's going on? Show me Leo, please, in October. Show me Leo, please, in October. What's going on? By the way, sometimes I see one continuation of a thought, a feeling, a belief, or an action, and sometimes it's broken up into segments, and that's one of the benefits to using a board like this. All right. Show me Leo, please, in October. Nine of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Seven of Cups. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You're finding it, and this is over time, mind you, perspective over time. In October, it's really kind of collecting the point of bringing it home, is that our feelings here about a particular subject has not changed much. In fact, if anything, there's more resistance to them now more than ever. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, what's going on then? What's going on? Talk to me, Goose. What's up? You're like, you know what? I didn't like it so much then. I still don't like it now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I hear you. But what is it exactly? And why is this coming up at the height of October or at the beginning of it? Or frankly, you've just been flowing in that feeling for how many months now? Okay. It's almost like you're saying a feeling's bothering you and it won't go away. But nevertheless, it hasn't changed either. Okay, what's going on? Ew. Death, devil, in the Ace of Cups. My, my, my. But why does that annoy you, though? It looks like it's not your problem anymore. So why does that annoy you? Why are you checking in with yourself and like, say, let's call it a couple weeks from now, and you're still annoyed by the fact that you don't have feelings for this anymore? Like, I don't, I still don't have feelings for it. And why does that annoy you? I mean, are you frustrated with yourself that you still feel the, the, the same absence of feeling? Where's that coming from? Is it because it's hard for you to really accept it? Is that where the noise is coming from? That's that's pretty non-negotiable in my book, honey. Um, 
there's that sinking feeling and ever sinking and it, it, it hasn't stopped sinking, but apparently it's hit the bottom of the ocean at this point. That you have a strong absence of feeling for something or somebody. And somehow when you reflect on it, it pisses you off even more. It's like, you mean it hasn't changed? No, it hasn't changed. Were, were you expecting it to get better? Because it hasn't. I think we need to get into that place of acceptance, honey. There's, there's a strong absence of feeling here. Very strong. And it's hard for you to accept that. I didn't know it was going to be all that. That actually kind of surprised me a little bit. And I don't say that too often. Uh, death and devil in the Ace of Cups. It's almost like you're pissed by the absence of feeling for this. Or is it because you feel that someone or someone has an absence of feeling for you and that's really hard for you to handle? What is that? Okay. Huh. Let's carry on. I'm going to take a look at you in November. And if I have more questions, I'll go back and dig on that one a little more because that's... That's a pretty sharp profile, honey. Pretty sharp. Show me Leo, please, in November. Because as far as I can tell, you're not interested. So if you're not really, if you're not attached to someone else's love energy, and they're not to you, call it fair. We don't need to be angry about that. Are you pissed about what's missing? It doesn't feel like that to me. Four of Wands, the Knights of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. Okay, something's open up there. What's going on? I got some communication there. November, relationship. Knights of Pentacles, it's slow, but it's there. Page of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Ace of Wands. You want a new beginning with somebody. Communication's active. It's oh, these are all the correct elements that suggest tentative, hopeful. It feels just right. I'm going to take my time with it. Let's be careful with our words. Let's be careful with our actions. Let's show good intent here. Let's everybody clean up best behavior. Uh, and then also, above all, let's retain hope here. Ace of Wands, your master symbol. You know? We're gonna, we'll, we'll get back to that. We're going to get back to that. Because I have something else here that suggests you really should not give up about this anymore. Let's just, let's just be blunt about it. I mean, there, there's anger in there. It's hard for me to put my finger on because it's kind of mixed up with pride, resistance. And it's hard for you to accept your absence of heart space for something. But it's the truth, and it's a solid truth. And honestly, it looks like it's it's best not felt or experienced anymore. It's a cup best left alone. I think you know this. You're not stupid. So why is it so hard for you to accept, especially when you're on the precipice of, of kind of starting over with something, somebody, somewhere, just starting fresh? You know? These are all the markings of someone who's got it together. They're consolidated. They're thoughtful. They have their steps in place. And uh, we're opening up to communication and we're carefully moving our actions, our words, and our intentions to something that we hope to build into. It's not obnoxious. It's not over the top. It's just right. Someone who says they know better. Here are all the good elements. And boom, you spark up. It's like, this This feels good. So we don't need to be angry or resentful of this. No, so I'm going to get back to that. I'm not done with that. I don't feel like I'm done with that. Let's take a look at you in December. Let's take a look at Leo, please. In December.
I like this. Anybody, half their mind or worth their salt, should respond positively to that. So I wish you well in this particular endeavor. It, it, it looks like you, uh, you're showing me readiness for this. Emotionally, physically. It doesn't overstep any boundaries. It's just right. You struck the match. I love it. I absolutely love that for you. This is you. I don't know what the hell that is. But it's something we need to let go of, particularly the anger about the absence of that feeling, because it's done. It's done. I'll get back to that. Like I said, I'm not done with it. All right. The Knights of Swords. The King of Swords. Two of Wands. Look at that. There you go. You're cranking stuff out. <laughs> And I know it is very on point, though. That's some very on point forward mental energy for you. Yeah. We're a little busy in December. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, but you're like, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I believe you're on it. Look at that. That King of Swords, that's his personal night right there. Yeah. Getting it done. Out there. Killing it. You're making decisions, backing them up. Making the decisions, backing them up. Two of Wands is active, which means... You take your time, but when it's time to deploy, it's time to deploy. Take your time, but when it's time to take action, it's time, etc. So those absolutely feed into each other. Excellent. So you're very on point, and whatever it is that you do in terms of focus, drive, determination, decision-making skills, you're busy in December, but you're also telling me, I got it. Okay, I believe you, actually. <laughs> that's, a, that's a, I have the least amount of questions about that. <laughs> oh, you're busy. You know, it could be a lot of travel I'm seeing for you, but I don't think that's it. There's something about the height of activity where you need all your kind of mental skills and abilities to stay on point with your energies, your targets. I don't know. Uh, but it looks like you're doing some strong execution work here in December. I mean, just getting stuff done, whatever that is to you. All right. What's up? What's going on? Oh, the busyness, though, but you don't look stressed out. And if you are, you're not showing me that. Let's keep going. Yeah, okay. Eight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. Oh, I see you're trying to not focus on negativity. I see. Okay. So there's something to do with the foundation here that you say there are some sore points in it. But it's almost like you're trying to push past it and ignore it. You don't want to give or feed the negativity too much as you see it. You're like, I don't want to dwell on what's not working. I don't want to dwell on what is potentially upsetting myself or others. I just want to fix it. Okay. So you're like, let's get it done. So that's exactly what you mean to do in December. Now, I don't think you're trying to be dismissive of emotions. I think what you're saying is I'm trying not to get lost to them. And whoever else is in there, okay, in that foundation with you, you're saying, I don't want that to be the focus for myself or anyone else. Let me, let's just fix it. Let's just fix it. Let's just be on point. Okay. So there is a, an acceptance here that there, that there is upsetness. Okay. But I don't see you trying to dwell on it or give it too much attention. It's kind of like the less we focus on this and just stay on point, the better. Don't get lost to the negative. Kind of like that. We all have tasks to do. This is coming across heavily as task orientation in December. Perhaps I, I strongly suspect this involves you and multiple people within your foundation where you are trying to show a kind of braver mind or braver face mentality and trying to approach this, work with it, talk to it, and above all, I think, put work into it. Just fix it. Okay. And I kind of understand what it's like to be in that space. It's like, I understand. It seems like everything's on fire right now. So that being true, we can't put it out with our tears. Okay? So everybody just calm the hell down. You gear up. You get your fire extinguishers. And we start putting this out. Otherwise, we can't rebuild it. You know? It's kind of like that. It's like, I'm aware that there's a fire. But us screaming at it or yelling at it isn't going to solve anything. And I kind of agree. So when you have to put your hard hat on like that and then start deploying, making decisions, and doing the best you can, sometimes you have to kind of suppress the emotion to get everybody on the same page, lead by example, that kind of thing. Honestly, I'm surprised you didn't show me your power card here, so I don't know how much of a fire this is, if you will. Um, I see you determined to sort through it because it seems like you're surrounded by some folks who don't have too many answers just a lot of emotion. Um, 
So somebody had to put the hard hat on. It looks like it was you, honey. Well, if there's anyone who's equipped, it's going to be you. All right, so just to let you know in December, there's a bit of a shakeup, but nothing that you don't seem to be able to sort out. And that's the key word here. You're going to sort it out, and you're going to try not to give too much attention to the negativity. You're going to stay on point with that one. This is what I'm actually the most interested in, because here you look soft. You look agreeable. You look wise. It's kind of like um, this is day one of class that's really important to you. <laughs> and you want to show up well to it and be perceived well. And then over here, this is terrain that you are familiar with. So this is one of the benefits to the three-month overview is that I can see stuff that's very much in succession or it's completely unrelated. And depending on who you are, that can either annoy the hell out of you or you'd be like, oh, that's interesting. This is happening and that's happening. So I don't know where you are, but you showed me completely three different concepts today. I'm very curious at this point to check out your sun. December's going to be all right. The way you're approaching it suggests to me that's the whole point. Okay. And like I said, if you've ever been in that position of being chief and you put on your chief hat and you know there's a fire screaming at it, it's not going to help. Crying on it's not going to help. It's like... I need everyone in here to focus because you're getting a lot. I don't know how to work this out. I don't know how to work. And you're like, well, I do. Let's do it. Let's go. And that's very much you when hit this a fan. You know what I'm saying? Show me a, a self-censor, but I didn't need to. We're past the 10 minutes. When shit hits the fan, that's something I would expect from Leo, you know? All right. Let's see your son. Show me Leo under the sun, please. Show me Leo under the sun, please. You might have a really strong shot of Aquarius running through your chart, by the way. That would explain some of that. Let's see the sun. Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and Temperance. What would make you happy is to cure... Excuse me. <clears throat> you need some quality time with you. And I agree that's something we all need. And it's something that can do well for everybody um you really look forward to the days where you have some quality time with yourself and i don't blame you for that <laughs> i really don't you personally are looking forward to some tlc from yourself and it's one of the elements that makes you happy so when and where and how you can incorporate that i don't know but you seem to have a particular rhythm with it that says you're familiar with the process you're familiar and you try to show yourself more love when and where you can. This is one of your principles for the Leo I'm looking at that says, son, this is how I am in tune with myself. Um, I kind of fix what ails me and I know when to fix what ails me. And that means getting back in tune with my comfort zone and understanding my self-worth enough to honor my own sense of time out when I need to spend a little more time with me, like I said. And some of you can be quite the homebodies when you want to be, and that's where you find a lot of your personal sense of self and sustenance, and that's what a lot of us are, and that's what the comfort zone is in the good way. And you're showing me, yeah, I need to do that. And I, you're, you're also showing me, I know when, where, and how to do that. You will have one of those periods coming up relatively soon, and by that I mean it could be in Sag season, which would explain some of this. When you get the break. <laughs> but that aside, I'm happy to know that you know this is something that makes you happy. A lot of people, they don't associate that person. They sense or see or perceive their sense of happiness as being outside of them. And it's almost always a temporary inflation thing instead of a long-term sun element like you're showing me. It's like, oh, this thing's going to make me happy. Yeah, for the next five minutes. <laughs> but do you know how to make yourself happy long-term? And you're saying, this Leo I'm looking at says, yes, as a matter of fact, I do. I know when to pull myself aside and take care of me. Good. Very good. What else, please? And under that sun, there you are. Not once, but twice, darling. King of Wands with strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a point of pride for some of you. Very good. Very good. I know when to put my feet up and make myself a cup of herbal tea. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> very good obviously there's more to it than that but you know what I mean anything else please under that sun the queen of swords the ten of wands and the three of cups yeah 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 there you go yeah, yeah, you're saying uh, that determination has a price. Mm -hmm. I bet it does. I know it does. You're saying it's really hard for you to keep it together sometimes with others. 
specifically, <laughs> keeping things harmonious in particular. You're saying you feel like it's your responsibility, that you're happy to do it. Don't get you wrong. This is the Ten of Wands of your choice. Remember that. I tell this to people all the time. The Ten of Wands, if you're going to have one, and we all do, ideally it's the Ten of Wands of your choice. That which you choose to carry. You're saying part of the responsibility that's attached to you is by your choice, and you wouldn't have it any other way. But you're also telling me it's really hard to keep it together sometimes. And I think that's why you're showing me a strong self-regulation system of care. And you know for a fact it's one of the things that makes you happy. Because carrying that level of responsibility, I don't think you'd have it any other way. I don't. And while you admit it's hard to keep it together, Three of Cups, you're also saying you chose this. I respect that. That's sweet. And it's a strong admission on your part. So I appreciate that. Cool. Cool. Okay. Your sense of happiness is tied to much larger things than beyond the next five minutes. So that tells me a little bit more on the side of developed, but you're also heavily responsible. Okay. All right. I want to get back to November. Can we just hang out in November a little more? That would be fantastic. I feel obligated to check on this because it's just so markedly different than the rest of the Leo I'm seeing. But I really just want to hang out in November. Don't you just want to hang out in November? I do. Let's do <laughs> we can't just hang out in November as lovely as it looks. Um, what's up with the tower? Some of you... Uh, okay. 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 Very distinct impression. I just saw some of you going back to class. I don't know what that means. Training. Coursework something. Studying. Just some of you. Not all of you. What is that? It's the wisdom, the teacher wisdom energy. Um, some of you, you might occasionally teach and it feels good. For others of you, you occasionally like to go to class and be taught for some reason. And for some of you, that segment's coming up in November and you look forward to that. You find it restorative. And it lends to your book of wisdom or skills. That was very specific. Very. It may not apply to all of you. It's just, it hit me. Just out of nowhere. So take that as confirmation. It may not necessarily apply. Okay. I have a love of learning as well. I know what that feels like. No, no, no. This still feels personal. It looks personal. It's just right. I like your approach. I really like your approach on that one. Or how you're receiving it, regardless. Okay. Let's take a look at that tower, please. The moon, five of wands, and the magician. You're showing me active suppression of manifestation. Why? Interesting. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. You're saying to manifest for something would not be good. It seems to be related to something that you used to look forward to, but you don't anymore. Ace of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. You're saying here this, I don't want to manifest this anymore. I've learned my lesson on that one. It was folly to do so the first time. And you're still angry with yourself about it. You also said you had a lesson in not manifesting the unknown. It's kind of like you learned some time ago about to uh, be careful what you wish for. It's like, I won't do that twice. Something you had always hoped would show up didn't. It looks like an offer. Could be in work. 
I mean, I have a reason to believe so. It was a sense of stability. Or at least you thought it was. I don't know how old this is or how recent it is. You're showing me there's enough distance between you and this tower that you can reflect on it. But it's not so old that it, uh, you can't recall the less than either. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands, the, the Nine of Pentacles. It's like uh, the last time you manifested something very, very strongly, it turns out it wasn't very good for you. I know for a fact yours had a very distinct impression, and I don't remember which in-depth it was. It could have been weeks ago, months ago, but I remember it distinctly, and it's kind of like you're saying that's an Ace of Pentacles, an opportunity I wish I could take back or decline or say no to. I wish I'd never taken it, something like that. Because then you had to make up for it. You're showing me something similar now under a tower. Not all opportunities are for us, even though they can be big and shiny. And when we're out there looking at it, when we're on that distant shore, it can look like everything. And if we just pull it in, oh, it's going to lend to who we are. It's going to be sweet, right? It's going to be sweet. It's going to add to my sense of experience and stability and... Uh, it'll have shaped me and it'll have cultivated me. And But there's something about that. It's like, um, but seeing it from a distance, perhaps we didn't know what it was until it showed up. And it's like, I wished I hadn't wished for that kind of thing. We didn't know much about it at the time with the moon there, but we thought it was everything from a distant shore where it was nice and safe. Some of you are very subject to this. It's a lesson that's still with you. And you still process it. And it still influences you and informs you every day. That's very interesting. I think that's very, very interesting. Okay. Okay. Manifest what makes sense to you. Not the kind of shiny fool's gold that looks like real gold from a distance. You may not know what it is actually upon closer inspection. That's why it is, I agree with you, safer to manifest what you know to be true, as opposed to just like, I'm convinced that that's right for me. And by the time it arrived, it's not what you thought it was. Okay? Something to think about there. I like your sun. I respect it. I get where it comes from. I like November. Let's talk about October. Seven of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Wands. It's, like I said, looking back on it, as you enter the month of October, or roughly thereabouts, you're like, I'm still pissed off that my feelings for this haven't changed. That's probably a good thing, but why are you angry about it? <laughs> There's a cup that's missing from your life, and let's be glad it's not there. Okay? Okay. It represents a space in your heart that is resentful, bitter. Angry because it was yours, angry because it wasn't, and somewhere in between. Your feeling for it is gone. It is really gone. But for some reason, it still leaves a bitter taste in your mouth, or in your energy, I should say, specifically. And it's almost like you chastise yourself for ever having cared for it. That's what it is to live life. I don't know if it's tied to your tower there in terms of that looked really good from a distance, but it turned out it was fool's gold. So I'm glad that that particular cup's not available to you anymore. You're feeling for it or it's feeling for you. Probably a little bit of both. Because it doesn't, I'm going to be honest with you, that's not the nicest looking cup I've ever seen, nor the cleanest just in case we missed that one. So I respect the fact that you respect that you're not available to this anymore. But why do you keep beating yourself up for it? The moment we're born, we enter into this unknown contract. 
of being open. We're putty. We're, we're sculptable. And we can't do that without experience. Sometimes we sculpt ourselves horribly. And what do you do? You go back, you take out that chunk and reshape yourself, if you're willing. There's other people who just fold and give up and said, you know what, I messed up once. And that's going to determine that misshapen form of whatever it is you were building with that clay, putty, whatever. It says, I'm a screw up. And I can't ever take that shape out. Yeah, on the contrary. You really don't know what form you'll take until you've been broken a couple times. And then you understand how strong you are by putting yourself back together. So I really, it's easy for me to sit here and say this, honey, but I really want you to stop. That cup was no good for you. Or your feelings towards it were no, I mean, regardless, it's not in your life. So please stop beating yourself up. Because without it, I don't think you would know how to appreciate this. There's no need to be bitter about that. It's either passing or it has passed and it still haunts you to this day. My advice to you, as generic as it would be, still is the best. Let it go. Let it rest. Okay. You're so much more than that. This is internal. It's not like you go around expressing this crap. It's what you feel. But this is who you are. Right here. So I don't know why you're getting so hit so hard with that in October. I got a swing for who you are, and so do you. You are very familiar with your process, very responsible, very on point, very driven to results and fix it and determination. You know when to break. You know when to take care of yourself. You know what not to manifest based on desire from, say, across the street or across the shore, as I like to say with the Three of Wands. And perhaps this is related to that because they both seem pretty darn powerful in reflection. This is where I'm interested in you. This is where I'm interested in you and in your 3D activity. And at the pace you're going in December, it's going to be fine. Okay? I would love to know more about that. What it is you have just started, or you will, at some point in fall, early winter, or spring, early summer, depending on where you are in the world. I see you opening up to something because you know it's correct for you, not because you know it's wrong. And that comes from age, wisdom, and experience. And how you've learned to reshape yourself from things like this, not from the absence of them. You could not have learned to do this unless you had experienced this. You understand? So I'm telling you, part ways with it in peace. Thank it for what it was, not for what it wasn't. That's not the end-all be-all of the shape of you, honey. Okay? Anyway, let's keep it on. Self-worth and expectations. Yes, you have a very healthy sense of self-worth and expectations now. Your biggest crime by far is that you tend to overwork yourself. Again, you could not have known these things about yourself unless you understood where the hell you were coming from and had very, very, very strong impressions on your timeline about what was wrong from you and if wrong for you and if you hadn't learned that if you had stuck back here in bettersville angriesville you wouldn't be here doing this nobody can succeed like this unless they had overcome some shit like that you understand so stop kicking yourself in the ass i'm done with it aren't you done with it be done with it okay you have so much attached to you Stop being so hard on yourself. I It was on the tip of my... Thank you, spirit. I was like, you learned your fucking lessons. Okay? I don't know if it is. The metaphorical relationship. You had a couple of them. couple of divorces. A couple of shitty career opportunities. You thought it was all that and it weren't. Same thing. With relationship. Whatever. It was all karmic. You only fail if you refuse to learn. You learned. So stop beating yourself up for the lesson. See, I'm glad I messed up my shape when I was trying to shape me. That was the whole point of learning. That was the whole point of trying. You can't get it right the first time, nor should you. And if you did, oh, what are you, a clean spirit? 
You've never been around planet Earth before? Oh. <laughs> oh, honey, no. No, no, no. Oh, my gosh. The structure is solid foundation. It's forming as we speak. I would love to know what that segment is. Limitations and fears. That's what I'm saying. So afraid to get it right. What does that mean, Leo? You don't know what right is until you've fucked up and made mistakes. We all lose sight of ourselves and we all fall for fool's gold from time to time. How do we know what's the real gold is unless we do that, yeah? All right. All right. I want to know what that dark night of the soul. I got it, baby. A couple times. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I'm sure you're going to be accused a little bit of being a control freak. Other than that, I think you got it. What is this? Perhaps you know, perhaps you don't know, because it is future-oriented technically, and it looks like it's just beginning. I like the approach. It's steady, and it's just kicking off, but it provokes the right elements that says this is a Leo who knows better, and this is how things should be approached. I believe you. What the hell is it? Or I should say, who the hell is it? You're like, but the lessons, Christina, appreciate my lessons. I appreciate your lessons. You do too. Get off this subject. Go over here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted you to know what I, I know what you've been through I think it uh, all right I want you to take whatever this is December I'm not worried about it you got that you got that it's going to be difficult it's going to be a pain in the ass and that's why you're all over it you got it you know what to do in terms of sunshine and happiness this is very sweet whatever it is Movement, no shit, and the balancing act. I know, look at that, balancing act, and the, yeah, with the movement. That's December all over. You're going to balance the heck out of it. Things are in motion. We're going to get it resolved, 28 and 11. I know. I know. I know. And 49, the talisman. Some of you have a particular talisman that you like to wear or that you have, like, as in reference, like a touchstone that you would keep in your pocket or you wear it. It means a lot to you. Whatever your particular talisman in, it means a lot to you. You know, things, people, and objects have as much power as we give them. So hopefully you've given your talisman good power. It's a good representation of you. Number 49. Okay. Joyful muse, the inspiration. Yeah, I know. I see that lightening up. I do see that. That sense of joy, creativity, music, enjoyment, number 33. Joyful muse, inspiration. I like that. Very colorful, that is. Why does it feel like the outside energy? It's inspiring, isn't it? It's a little different, isn't it? Yes. It's a little different. Woodwives, adaptability. Flexibility. Someone who is earthbound but knows how to be adaptable. Number 64. I like it. It's very colorful. It's very bright. The wailing tree. Reconciliations. Okay. So this is not reconciliation with anything or person. It's reconciliation of difficult truths. Once more in that vein of temperance. Uh, mourning what we cannot reconcile. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. No, no, be mindful. Be mindful, okay? Be mindful. The group think. I think if you consulted with others or groups, they would give you feedback about how far you have come and that you've actually done the hardest reconciliation of all. So be mindful. There's how you perceive yourselves and as others would perceive you, which would be, I think, very different than the internal dialogue I see running around inside you in October. Let it go. Is an October an anniversary marker for some of you? Does that represent a painful month and that's what provokes all that shit? Hmm? It happens. Anniversaries, psychologically speaking, are very powerful markers, guys. Like I said, people, we, human beings, give people, places, things, situations, and circumstances much power as we think it deserves. So when things stand out in October or May or whatever, it tends to stay with us because we give it that power. We give it that frame of mind. Okay? So if October is like a triggering month for some of you, I understand. You can let it go. 
You don't need it, and it don't need you. Not anymore, and probably hasn't for a long time. Okay. Okay, we have the Medallion of Capricorn, no doubt. Some of you have some very strong Capricorn in your chart. That would make a lot of sense for what I'm seeing here today. For some of you, the connecting point will be a Capricorn. We have the cat in the upright. Yes, indeed, be in touch with our intuition. This is also what I'm seeing today, the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Busy, busy, busy. We have the anchor here. You can see this in one of two ways, either being stuck or emotional stability. It still represents water. Depends on where you are. And we have the letter V. All right, Leo, honey, I hope this helped you. Put it in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.